So now let's start working on the routes, right? We will create different routes, right? So just close this up and start coding without wasting any time. So what we can do is we can we can use body parser because we will be making post request very soon. So this body parser what it will do it will parse those post request and we can access whatever data coming from the front end in request dot body, right? So uh, let's say how to use that. We can just type here app dot use and in here we can use this body parser and you can use json and like so make sure uh, whatever right route you create uh, create this below this bar this line right yeah or as you will get that request dot body is undefined right yeah a lot of people get that error that request dot body is undefined and they just end up with figuring out that they imported this below the routes so don't do that import it on the top of the routes so we'll create a below somewhere here all the routes okay so let's create here routes so first of all let's create a post route so we can use this app dot post route uh, let's say uh, let's create a url let's say they will send a post request on let's say send right s e n d and we can just uh, fire a callback with request comma response and uh, this will be obviously an arrow function and, and for now let's console dot log console dot log uh, what we are getting from front end so request dot uh, body we can get those uh, inside this body thing right okay whatever from front end we are sending we can get those in request dot body and we'll send a response to the to our front end rest dot send and let's say we'll send response posted right okay uh, in order to test this route what we can do is we can use postman right as I told you we will be using postman so let me open up my postman uh, so my postman is opening uh, let it open yeah like so and let's uh, close this or uh, my previous files okay let's close this window yeah don't save okay let's create click on this new tab right now here we will be making post request to so select here post now enter url so you can type here http uh, yeah, this local was 3000 and in 3000 we want to send it to send route, right? Send, we created a send, right? And what data we want to send, right? So we will be sending JSON data. Just go to this header and just enter a key here. And I think there is application, no. Uh, what is that? Uh, let me figure it out. A uh, content type, yes, content type and this will be application slash JSON. Where it is? A double P L I. Uh, we should see somewhere application slash JSON. Yeah, yeah, this one. Oh, A double P L I C A. Let me type it out. Application slash JSON. Yeah, this one, right? And make sure there's a check mark over here, right? And now just come to this body and here just select raw, right? Here now we can send JSON data, right? Okay. Yeah. Let's say we can send name. Uh, that will be a string obviously put it inside a code as this will complain that you haven't put a name inside course and let's send name as Mukesh right and let's see send thing uh, position PO as IIT and position and that will be let's say uh, uh, web the like so and let's send this to this route make sure you are selected post and just hit on send and if we scroll down here we are getting this posted because we we wrote res dot send posted and if we just go to the server and here you can see on our terminal uh, in request dot body we have name and we have position right awesome so we are receiving this data in basically request dot body right because we here said that to console dot log request dot body and we are receiving this name and position in request dot body. Okay. Yeah. So now let's save this, right? So we want uh, uh, to access name, position, salary, picture, image, and what we want to save those, okay? right? So how we can do that? Okay. So what we can do is, in order to save this, we'll be using this model, which we have required it here, right? So uh, let's create here. La, let's rename this route. We'll rename this route as send and data, right? Dash data. Okay. 
now we can create a variable const emp hello y double e remember i am creating this employee with a small e right i used this model with the capital e but here i am creating this employee with a small e right uh, if you want you can put whatever name you like and here we, i will write new and here i will use that model e m p l o y i will use this model and now in this model i will pass an object now in this object i can pass all the fields which i want to save to the database now let's say i will have a name here and name will come from uh, this request dot body p o d y b o d y and dot name right because body was a complete object it has a lot of fields name and status we saw that uh, this request dot body has name and position similarly we will send uh, the name from the front end we will send salary from the front end so yeah this is how we can store and let's say we will store the email right an email will come from request dot body dot email right we will store we are putting comma here just put a comma here we will store let's say phone number and phone number will call from request dot uh, dot body uh, dot p i c t u r e picture and uh, salary s a l a r y salary will come from request dot body uh, not a comma dot body dot s a l a r y salary uh, uh, S A L A R Y. Okay, and we can write here position, and that will come from request dot body dot position. Like so, triple check the spelling. So we have made a typo, right? Triple check this. Is, this should have the same name, right? Okay, and we will create this name email uh, onto our front end. For now, we'll just create this here in Postman. Right. Okay. So I think these all fields we will have an application in order to save these. We can use this employee variable, right? We can use this employee variable, e m p l employee, and here we can just do call save method like so. Yeah, and then it will save. Now we can call then, right? And and then I can just log the data what I get. And for now, let's console dot log what data we get after. Saving those fields in onto our database data, like and yeah. If we get some error, uh, yeah, and if uh, data is successfully posted, we can just uh, hit the just send this posted uh, as you double c e the success. Uh, yeah, we can just write here success. And if we got some kind of error, so we can just c a t c h catch into that block c a t c h. C A T C H. Okay, yeah. Catch that error, and we will just console dot log the error. Console dot log the error. If we fail to save this data, right? Maybe we made some kind of typo. So we'll see what kind kind of typo we have made. So let's save with this file and let's copy these all fields. Uh, I think we 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 forgot to add picture here, right? So let's add it. P P I C T U R E picture and Request dot body dot p i c t u r e picture like so. Yeah. Now so now let's copy this all the things we have. Control C and let's go to this postman right and just remove this. Uh, oh, not this. Just scroll up and just paste everything in here like so. And just put this name inside quotes right. Uh, let me pause this video and type everything in here. So I have typed all the things what I need to post here. Like right. So type whatever you want to post. And what we can do is, yeah, just here change this to send data. Right. We changed our route to send data. Right. Let's see. Uh, center. We haven't saved this file. Save it. Send data. Right. Triple check what we are. Assign using the route. Okay. Now let's click on this send, and it is sending. And let's scroll down. Yeah, we can see we got success. And let's see on our console. Yeah. So it has logged successfully whatever data it uh, is being saved in uh, onto MongoDB. And you can see we have we have got unique ID 
automatically added now this is something which mongodb does for us it automatically adds a unique id to the every record if we go on to this mongodb let's say uh, just close this up and we can go to this collection and let's see uh, so if something is saved in our database or not if see we have this employees model and here we can see all the data is being saved right so this was amazing thing right so let's catch up in the next video and we will we'll see how we can delete and update the records right so i'll see you guys in the very next video